Having a great party means that your hostess needs to be involved. She needs to be the one driving the party, not you. It's her friends that are coming and she is the host and her love of the books is what is going to sell the books way more than you as a consultant. So we want to be sweet little puppet masters to help our hostesses have a great party. We wanna get behind her and coach her to do the work. Now, if we just say, you need to do this, 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 she's gonna freak out and be like, hold the phone. Not gonna happen. So instead, we need to give her tiny little tasks to do each day, like tiny little tasks to do. So let's break it down. Ready? Day one. On the first day when you launch her party, even before you give her that invite, you need to ask her to invite five to 10 of her top people. Now, if she just sends them a Facebook message, that's okay, but it's not amazing. What's amazing is when she contacts them in the form that she normally talks to them. Her bestie, she's not gonna Facebook message her. Her sister, no. She needs to text them or call them on the phone. Tell them all about this party, get them excited, invite them, and then after she's talked to them and let them know all about it, then she can send this Facebook invite. We don't want it to say, RSVP going, three people, invited. 200. Ugh. Are you guys tired of getting Facebook invites like that? I certainly am. I see those and I'm like, scroll. So we don't want that for our hostess. So we have her invite five to 10 people, her favorite besties, friends, and family. So after those five to 10 people are on board, guess what? Now it's time to invite the rest of her people. And we say no more than 70 to 80 people. Tops, tops. On day one, we're reminding our hostess listen this is all about fun so we're just going to create a lot of fun on your page and we can do that by you commenting and liking all of the posts and just being involved and getting your friends involved day one check ready for day two day two day two of the party is all about pointing people to the books that are perfect for them so I'm gonna post a wish list post today and I want my hostess to be involved. So I ask her to request a wish list on that post and to ask a few friends to do the same. And today is the day that I'm going to talk to my hostess about starting her own Usborne business and turning this party into her launch party. Every single hostess is thinking in the back of her head, maybe I should do this. So you wanna take that and run with it. Your hostess is your next recruit. She is falling in love with the books just like you did. So make sure you invite her to join. Day two, check. On day three, I ask my hostess to post about her favorite Usborne book. Bonuses if she has pictures of her kids reading the book. I also ask her to share a post about the Usborne book that she is most excited about on her wish list. That just helps get people excited about the books that she's excited about. The other big task for day three is to encourage your hostess to see who might want to also have a party like her. So she's gonna take a look at her wish list, and you can encourage her that the more parties that are booked off of her party, the more free books she's gonna get. And you can use the hostess incentive and booking categories to um, make this happen for her. Day three, check. All right, it's the day of the party, y'all. Today is the day. And today she needs to contact her people and remind them about the party. People forget, I forget all the time and miss Facebook parties every day. If she contacts them and lets them know, not just like a blanket post, but actually contacting them, that will be really helpful. And the other thing is to let her know your expectation for her during the party. Just say, hey, um, later when we have our party, it would be great if you could show up 10 minutes early and just start getting ready and get people excited. And during the party, make sure you stay with me the whole time and just comment throughout. The more excitement we have, the more our guests will be excited too. And you guys will have an awesome party. Those are the tasks that your hostess needs to do. Thus concludes the minivan moment. See you later.